what's poppin? Wow. My name is Basti, welcome back on my channel, Basti's Life. Today, as you already can see, we're gonna talk a little bit about my dental medicine studies, in particular, how it was like moving to Romania. So, let's do this! So guys, as you already heard in the intro, this video is for all the people who are interested in studying in Romania, in particular, studying dental medicine. And this video is going to be a part of a series I call what is it like? And for this video, we're gonna talk about the first few days after I moved to Romania. So guys, trust me, moving from Germany to Romania was pretty difficult and pretty weird. Because not only was it the first time I had to move out of home, I also had to move by plane to another country. Which meant all my belongings had to fit in one bag, which shouldn't be heavier than 23 kilograms. So after arriving at the Cluj airport, I had so many different emotions. I was scared, I was happy, I was confused, I was excited. You guys have to know the area around the Cluj airport is pretty, let's say, pretty mother ugly. Because you're welcomed by walls of concrete and unfinished buildings. Just have a look by yourself. After living over six months now in Cluj, I can really say Cluj can be so beautiful, as you can see in the following footage. This was just a little glimpse of the beauty Cluj can hold. But let's get back to my first experience after moving to Cluj. So I finally got into my apartment, had all my stuff in my almost empty rooms, and they're still pretty empty. And at that point, I finally realized, whoa, this is going to the place where I'll live for the next six years. And this thought was pretty crazy. To compensate this, the first thing I did was have a little bathroom party. Okay, so I finally moved in, was by myself in a city I don't know, in a country I don't speak the language and with no clue what to do and where to go. I arrived at Cluj four days before my studies began and to be honest my first two days were pretty lonely and sad because I spent almost the entire time watching YouTube with my mobile data because at that point I didn't have any Wi-Fi and also I ate pizza the whole night. Yeah, that was pretty sad. And this is the part where I have to give a big shout out to the organization EMSA, which is a university association. They are like a group of students who organize cool parties and bring people together to have fun. And this group was part of the welcoming guys, where new students got to know all the places where uni is, which are so many because our uni is not like a normal campus. It is separated over the whole city. But that means in a short time you get to know the city pretty well. So on this welcoming days, you get to know so many new people because everyone is lonely, everyone almost doesn't know anyone and that means people want to connect with each other. So for the people who are watching the video right now and might consider studying here but are afraid of the living situation over here, trust me, over here everyone is alone and tries to find new friends so you will connect with other people so easily. Don't have any worries about being alone, you won't. So after the welcoming days, my studies finally began and it was completely different than school. Instead of normal subjects, we have lectures and labs. The lectures are like big and long as presentations held by professors and all you have to do is pay attention, write some notes or just act like you're paying attention. <laughs> but the labs are the completely opposite because in the labs, it's up to you that you get stuff done. Because like the name lab already suggests, you have to do certain experiments and they vary from subject to subject. To be honest, the first semester of dental medicine was pretty chill. I think I had a 30 hour week, oh, it was such a good life because now I have a 41 hour week and trust me guys, it's killing me. Okay guys, this should be it for this video, I hope you learned something about my studying in Romania and if you enjoyed this whole concept, give it a thumb up and also comment down below about what topic should I talk about in the next episode. So guys, see you next week, bye!